Tom Queeley was on top of the horse racing world, but his career on the legendary thoroughbred didn't last forever, and neither did his fame. In the jockey business, you're only good as your last ride, if you can find one. I was going out when seemingly the weight of the world was on my shoulders, but I didn't, I didn't let that phase me. Frankel unbeaten in 11 starts, six of them group ones, the highest rated horse in the world. Will this be another big win? Last one goes in. There's Tom Queerty. They're set for the Queen Anne. Stand by. They're off. If time is measured not by clocks, but by moments, Tom Queeley had a lifetime of them aboard a horse called Frankel. 14 times the British thoroughbred left the gate, and 14 times he was the first to finish with the Irish jockey shaking the reins. And now he starts to shake the reins at Frankel. He gets an immediate response. The champion starts to draw away. He's gone three lengths in front. Acceleration can find no more. And this is a procession. It's now Frankel who's drawing away. What a performance. The superb, the spectacular Frankel. 11 out of 11. And in a zone of his own. It's Frankel who wins it by eight lengths. Tom Queeley raced on Europe's grandest stage at the Queen Anne Stakes aboard a legendary racehorse. Now he is here at Golden Gate Fields where the crowds are smaller and the horses are slower. Are you humbled in any way? Yeah, I am. Look, it's, it's a huge part of my life and it's something that has, has helped me in an awful lot of ways. And he's, he, Frankel has opened doors for me that, you know, a lot, a lot of lads that of similar uh, ability, etc., to me, wouldn't wouldn't be able to do. So I am humble in that regard, and um, I've been able to travel, you know, if pardon the pun, but on the back of him um, to an awful lot of places. Queeley said the politics of European racing played a part in his decision to come to America, but for one fleeting moment, he rode the greatest racehorse in the world to an undefeated career. It was very special because he had an enormous amount of ability and he had his swagger and his exuberance about him so uh, you know he was obviously a tremendously talented racehorse and everything about him his, his presence his overall attitude and everything you know like i said he was exuberant but as he got older he got a little bit more relaxed and that actually enabled him to deliver m more of a, a killer blow at the latter half uh, of his races so you know, he, he was, like I said, he was very special, but, you know, my, my job was, was very, very easy, really. On this day, his job would be much harder. He was aboard the favorite Anasquam in his first race. But unlike Franco, Anasquam had nothing to give in the stretch, and they finished second to last. The rain definitely helps it. Uh, my mom probably got a little bit disappointed when she was back in the field. She didn't enjoy it. I thought she was going to do something in the, the home straight, but she soon petered out. In the days to follow, Queeley found bouts hard to come by. In eight races, he managed just one third-place finish. He is 5,000 miles from England and even farther from the limelight, the celebrity, and Franco. It's, it's, it's a, not as easy to get on the quality as it was when you're, when you're on horses like, like Frankel, but um, I'm just hoping to make an impact and impress the people I ride for. If you get on the horse, I know that I can do the same job as the so-called best that are around. So, you know, you just, just get it's a job at the end of the day and you get on and I'm very lucky to be doing a job that I love so it doesn't feel like work. We're back to wrap it up in a moment with this week's Day Set at War.